Point Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we've got this sort of dreary day sandwiched in between some above average temperatures that we had yesterday and that are headed our way again for tomorrow. So if you can just you know get through the day, it's dreary, it's drizzly. This isn't your kind of weather. You don't have to wait much longer. We still have a lot of misty, damp conditions down at the coastline in Narragansett. You can even see a few of the raindrops on the camera lens here and similar conditions traveling up to Providence. You're going to find that often on mist and drizzle here over the next few hours of the afternoon. Winds still from the northeast at about 12 miles per hour. Looking at the radar, this has been the case through most of the day today. Not much organized over Rhode Island or southeastern Massachusetts, but widening out the view, you can see where there are still some showers pinwheeling through parts of Connecticut and Long Island. These are actually moving away from our area around our center of low pressure that's sitting almost over Nantucket now, and that's where the bulk of the showers will continue to press off to our west. So while we do have the chance of some showers over the next few hours, a lot of the afternoon it's just going to be misty. We'll keep the threat tracker in the green for today. Wednesday, Thursday, the big story becomes the temperatures that will be moving into our area warmest uh, since the sep since September. Here's Newport right now and it's gray, 57 degrees, gusting almost to 20 miles per hour. A cool in Providence, 57 at the Rhode Island College campus and it's similar in Smithfield. As this area of low pressure drifts further to the north and then eventually east, we'll continue to get that damp flow of air, but not quite as damp by the end of the day today. So the clouds may lift just enough. Uh, maybe a peak of sunshine. I wouldn't bank on it for the afternoon. In fact, the future cash shows over the next few hours will continue to see the risk of some spotty or lighter showers into the evening commute. I still think you'll be able to get in outdoor sports uh, after school without much trouble other than the fact that it's going to be cool and kind of miserable. As we move towards the uh, daytime tomorrow, that's when we really get into that warmer air. So we're in the 60s for the end of the afternoon and early evening hours. We only fall overnight into the 50s for lows, mid 50s. In fact, we'll have to watch for some uh, patchy fog. Skies will tend to do some clearing though by dawn as drier air moves in. Let's talk about the warm up. This is Wednesday, 630 in the morning. So getting that commute going tomorrow morning, dry skies in the 50s at dawn. By lunchtime, we're almost back to 80 degrees inland with coastal temperatures in the 70s. And look at the highs tomorrow, 430 in the afternoon. We're in the mid 80s away from the coastline and even at our beaches tomorrow, a warm day. I'm looking at beach temperatures reaching a high close to 75 degrees tomorrow with the safe sun time of about 10 to 15 minutes. Water temperature is still only in the middle 50s. So 60s with clouds, mist and drizzle this afternoon, 85 for tomorrow. If you like the warm weather, we've got it again Thursday, Friday and Saturday. That's your first opportunity to head to the beach. Looks pretty good for Saturday. Temperatures around 73 degrees. Water temperature again in the middle 50s. Sunday's a much cooler day. We'll see a front come through Saturday night. There may actually be a few showers Saturday night or early Sunday morning. That'll usher in some cooler air. It's a backdoor cold front and so the temperatures will be much more typical of the end of May, the low 70s, sort of average highs for Memorial Day weekend temperatures and we'll see cool dry conditions, well cooler 